So we've seen that it's a great night for racing. We kicked down that last 3K really well. Last K was the quickest of them. This field here is Archie Hewitt of Mornington, Jack Mitchell of Melbourne Uni, Andrew Lego of Mentone, Nick Hershen of St. Stephen's, Scott Benedict, Box Hill, Daniel Sear, Melbourne Uni, Tane Lang, Melbourne Uni, Nick Montgomery, Melbourne Uni, Zach Granger, Wendery, Caleb Gilbert of Albury. That's the first 11 starters. So to start with here, we've got out in front, Zach Granger leading from Dane Gray, Caleb Gilbert of Albury sitting in amongst that group, Lawson Duff of Mornington, Archie Hewitt of Mornington up in our lead pack. Also in this field, we've got Connor Sullivan, Flynn Hill, Dane Gray, Glenn Huntley, Patrick Monty, Deacon, Oliver Burns, Essendon, Michael Petridis, Box Hill, Terry Tasakaridis of Glen Huntley, Taham Diol, Box Hill, Benny Hazler, Old Zavarians, Dane Veerway, Ashley Cohen of the VCL, Adam Schlicht, Box Hill, Tyler Murphy, Diamond Valley, David Grigg, Ballarat YCW, Joshua Carlo and Nana Wadding, Oliver Pratt, Mornington, Lawson Duff, Mornington, James Childs, Ballarat YCW, and Jack. Melulish, Melbourne University, 27 starters here. And it's our Wendery athlete, Jack Granger, Zach Granger. See a nice tempo in front. St. Stephen's Nick Hersham moves up well. Ben Hazler moves out about four wide around the bend, the old Zavarians athlete doing a little bit of work. But at the moment, it's Zach Granger of Wendery setting the tempo in front. We do have a pacemaker sitting behind them there. And now tucking in nicely, it's also St. Stephen's Nick Hershen. So the field gradually now making its way across about 45 metres, the 25 athletes. It's a long train, still led by a Wendery athlete. They found a solid tempo here. It's going to be pretty close to that nine minute pace when they get through one kilometre. So it is Zach Granger. Just a tick over that. Nine minute pace we talked about, looking really good. He's now being headed by Tane Lang of Melbourne University. Also in that lead pack, Nick Montgomery of Melbourne University. He's the one that you'll see now. Joining the St. Stephen's athlete. Benny Hazler of Old Zavarians moves again out wide. George Rourke of Collingwood in that front group. 335, 36, and Flynn Hill of Albury. Up amongst that front lead pack. 42, but Tane Lang's decided to push it out the front. Early leader Zach Granger's now got about four or five metres behind him. Ben Hazler's moving up into fourth. Nick Hershen of St. Stephen's fifth on the track at the moment. So Tane Lang, the junior, looking for a sub nine minute run tonight. Looks like the Albury athletes now making their way through nicely. Also, Caleb Gilbert. Caleb Gilbert joining Flynn Hill up in that front group. Tane Lang putting a nice little gap on Ben Hazler and also Zach Granger. 447, 48, 449, Hazel has decided to pick the pace up in second, wants to throw down a bit of a challenge. 
Doesn't want to give him too long a leash out in front. About a 20 meter margin. The Aubrey athlete still moving along nicely in the middle phases here. There'll be three laps to go when he comes past. In the swirling wind conditions, he's had to do a lot of the work out in front by himself, but he looks very comfortable as he does it. I'd say Nick Montgomery, one of the other Melbourne Uni athletes now, going up to join him. In that group there, I can also see Andrew Lego of Mentone. Not in the Mentone colours tonight, but he's on high up on the course. The Box Hill duo here go past me in Benedict and also Schlicht. And the back of the group here, we've got two more Melbourne Uni athletes moving along nicely, including Jack Mitchell. And then Connor Sullivan, and also Oliver Burns. But right now we go through two kilometers in 6.01, so we're still on track here. Sub nine minutes, a big chance here for our leaders. Tane Lang's the one that wants it. Ben Hazler's halved the gap now, so it's a 10 meter lead, but they have separated by about 25 meters to our chasing pack. So Lang, Hazler. Lego in that next group. The early leader from Wendery Grange is still in it. Dane Veerway now moving his way up. Very prominent over the long distance and it's Veerway that now moves into third. Our Mornington Peninsula athlete there. Looks like Oliver Pratt moving along well also. But at Hazler and Lang at the moment with two laps to go. So Hazler's halved the gap onto Lang with 650 remaining. And Viewway make a bit of ground up in fourth. A few of the Peninsula athletes now moving through the field. The St. Stephen's athlete, Nick Hershen, made another little move. Moves his way up into sixth. Behind them a few challenges. Can they be within reach in the last 500? Some strong moves behind, but it's still Lang and Hazler. So with 4.50 remaining, Hazler decides he's gonna join Lang. Our next challenger through, 11.20, Lawson Duff. Dane Veerway, Hershen, Patrick Monty moving through well. Next, next through, you've got Zach Granger, that early leader. The All Albury athletes, Flynn Hill and also Caleb Gilbert. But Hazler goes to the front. Lawson Duff's the one, though, that's the threat. So with 2.50 to go, Duff now goes into second. Veerway's got a lot of work to do in fourth, but he's trying to put up the challenge. Lang gives up the inside rail to Duff, and that's the race for second. Benny Hazler, he's got five metres at the moment on Duff. The old Zavarians athlete finds another gear. It's that tall lean back motion, but it's very effective out in front. So it's the black and red of old Zavarians in front, Benny Hazler. Has Lawson Duff got one more go at him? Lawson Duff's had to do a lot of work. He's not going to catch Benny Hazler, though, I don't think, tonight. Benny Hazler's going to finish out in lane three and win it. He's gonna go sub nine minutes. He does go 8.59. Duff through for second. Lang finishes really well. Dane Veerway with a really strong finish next. We called him finishing strong. Patrick Monty next. Hershen, then Petridis. Oh, the Mornington Peninsula team then through the middle. The nice late dash there from also Daniel Sear. Next through Zach Granger, the early leader. Flynn Hill with a strong finish. Dane Gray from Glen Huntley. Moving through now well, James Childs. Schlicht, we mentioned earlier, from Fox Hill. 30, that's Jack Malush. 19 next through. Daham Diol. Terry Tascaritas. But Benny Hazer, the first man to go sub nine minutes tonight with 8.59. 
takes the victory in the, in the men's E-race. A few more finishes there. That was Jack Mitchell. And rounding out our group there, Connor Sullivan of Old Scotch. At 8.59 it was. Benny Hazler, Olds of Arians with the victory in the men's E3000.